third Swift UI animation tutorial. Today we are going to learn about how we can create our custom progress bar along with the logo or any image that you need. So let's see what we are going to accomplish or achieve after this tutorial. So this is the loader screen. Once it completes, your hello world or your main screen is going to appear. So let's see what are the things that we need to, the things that are required to achieve this. Let's look at that. Let's look at the items that are required to complete this animation. So when I launches this application, we have one, two, and three. Three rectangles and one image. So three rectangles, one image, and one main view. So let's see how we are going to accomplish this using animations, shape, and timer. So here we are with our new Xcode project. And you can see that I have initialized Z stack and I have set my background color to black because the animation that I will be drawing is of white color. So I am putting black color in the background. And I have initialized on a pair function to just add the timer or the loading screen that I would be animating in the progress bar. We can animate even using buttons. But right now I will be animating after the screens appear. Right now I have initialized our background color to black and with a Z stack in it. Now whatever I will be representing, so what's the, what does this Z, Z stack do? Z stack is just like if you're adding views on it, like in an hierarchy in Z axis. So what I'm, whatever I'm going to add after this, after the first line, it's going to appear on above on the view. Like if I'm going to initialize any rectangle here, it's going to appear above this black view. So let's start by adding the first rectangle with a stroke with a border. So here I have initialized my first rectangle, but we can't see it right now because we haven't added any properties or initial values to it. So let's add its foreground white and some stroke width. So in order to add foreground, we have foreground color and to add stroke we have stroke style but in stroke we have a style style as an argument parameter so we need to add argument as a style so let's see what's going to happen on the right okay so we have a rectangle with a stroke with a border now we need to add now we need to adjust its height so let's give it some height and decrease its border all right, so we have achieved a down progress bar, but it seems like it's a bit small. So let's increase its height right now. Okay, so at 60 height, we have achieved a perfect progress bar. Okay, so now we are going to add a next rectangle and the next rectangle will appear behind this with a background with an opacity of some percentage. So let's add that rectangle. Here we have initialized a rectangle with the color black, but with an opacity of 0 0.3. So let's see if it's going to appear here. All right, so now we need to we'll give it free height. Once you've added height, let's see what's going to represent over here. All right, because it, it was black and with an opacity, we were not able to see that. So now we have changed my background to white with an opacity of 0 0.3. And we can see that our background has been displayed. Now, next, I need to add our progress bar loading animation. In order to fill, I need another rectangle. So let's draw another rectangle. Here, I have initialized another rectangle with an opacity of 0 0.3 and frame height of 60. So let's give it a height and its padding so that it fills the bar or the rectangle that we have inside. Now, in order to change this, it's width, let's give it a width to 30. Okay, as we can see, it's being displayed on the center. Now we need this to be displayed on the left. So we are going to give Z axis an alignment of leading. Alignment basically specifies the views hierarchy that how it's going to be aligned in the stack. So as per leading, all the views will be aligned and will start from leading. Now we can see that we have achieved our loader and it's 30 widths, it's a 30. Let's change this width to some different value and see if it's increasing. So let's change it to 100 and we can see it's increasing. 
So if I'm going to change this to 30, it's going to decrease. And if I'm going to increase its value, it's going to increase. So basically we will be animating this value, which will be a width of a rectangle. In order to animate this progress, we can update its width by some value. And in order to update, let's initialize a straight property wrapper with an S cap with S capital. And let's name it to progress with an initial value of zero. If you are going to assign this value to our width and with time, we will increase the value of progress. So let's add timer dot schedule with time intervals and with time intervals, we can add one or 0 0.1 here where the repeat is equals to true. And in this block, we are going to add progress plus is equals to one. So it's going to increase our progress value, which is which will which is width. So this will increase, which is going to increase this loading bar. And it will increase after after every 0 0.1 second. So it's asking it to declare it to float. So we, are, we will add 0, 0.0 to it. And let's see what's going to happen. All right, we can see that our loading bar has been completed and we can successfully achieve this. Along with that, you can see that a loading bar, the loading progress is being working very fine. If in order to increase this, I have two things. If I need to increase the speed, I can either change time interval with the time it's updating or I can change the progress value. So if I'm going to increase this progress value, so it's going to increase by four. So it's, it's going to fill up a bit quick. As you can see, we have achieved a speed of like multiply four. And if I need the, the time interval with, with the faster time interval, so I can again give it to 0 0.01. So this is also going to increase its speed. So it's increase speed will increase by 40%. So let's convert it to progress one and increase this progress by one right so now we have witnessed that we have uh, we have established the progress bar successfully but there is one issue in it which is that it's being it's there is no stopping to it so we need to make a stop to it and we need to specify some value so let's give it if a progress is less than 365 you just increase we will increase the value of progress until and unless it's less than 365 so let's see what's going to happen next if this bus bug still exists or not all right so it's loading perfectly and it's it ended here now it's not exceeding its limit so we have initialized some bound to it or a bar to it that it's not going to increase from this value all right so we have achieve this progress bar now we need to add a logo or any animation any image that we need that that will look more appealing to our animation i'm going to add a car image to it to make it look more appealing to add car we will need a v stack in this z stack which will appear above this these rectangle so let's add a v stack and in this vstack, we can add image and I can name it to IC car. Now this car is being, this car is being stored in my assets folder. You can have any image that you need and I will make it resizable because I will be giving it my own width and height to it. So let's declare some width and height to it. I will give it width to 150 and height to 200. To make it look more as per our design. Now we need to animate as per our loading bar. And in order to animate as per our loading bar, we will have to set offset. But right now it's on the load loading bar, but we need this to be above the loading bar 
so we can add pairing and bottom with an value of 80 let's see what's going to happen next so our car has been displayed above this progress bar now we need to animate this car in order to animate we have our offset value we can um, animate it either on y or x right now we need to animate this in x axis so i'm going to add x and i'm going to mention progress to it which is going to animate as our progress value increases so we can see our car is being animated as our progress value is being increased we can still see the sign of image on our screen so we can add another progress for car and we can name it progress car and we can use this progress car for our car and car to animate and in this timer we can animate it using we can mention if progress car is less than 500 keep increasing it now we are not going to see this car in our screen it's going to just keep on moving until and unless it disappears from our screen now we have achieved this animation now next we have what we have to do is we have to animate this rectangle to our main view now we have successfully achieved this once next is to an animate the inner rectangle to the whole view and in order to animate we have a scale effect so let's add a scale effect to it with a with a progress with the four let's see what's going to happen next so now it has been scaled initially but we need to initialize some value to it because we need to toggle it once our our loading is complete so let's initialize some value some boolean value like scale to home view is equals to we can initialize it to false and we can add the condition in scale effect here like if it's scale to home view is true animate it to whole screen otherwise we can scale it to one for the whole screen we can add a scale effect of 30 so but again there will be no nothing appearing on the screen because right now we have scale to home value set to false let's toggle it once our progress car value is in completed so let's see if we can say if progress car is equals to 499 we can do what we can toggle this value scale to home view dot toggle let's see what's going to happen next so once our value is increasing increasing and it, as soon as it reaches 499 it's going to appear on our whole screen it doesn't look seamless it looks like it just pop up in order to make it seamless and effective we can add animation to it with an ease in out and a duration of one and we can give it a value equitable to scale to home view right let's see how it's going to add and how it's going to animate it to our home view let's see now we have achieved our home view but it looks like that progress bar still being displayed on our home view in order to make it more visible and clear we can change its opacity so let's add an op changes opacity as per our value of scale to home view here we have specified opacity of 0 0.8 but we cannot we can change it to 1 once scale to home view is set to true so let's see how it's going to affect so perfect we have achieved our home view once our loading is completed we are navigated to our home view now we can add a text to it to make it look more a bit like our home screen so let's add a text to it with a hello world and we can again add opacity to it 
and we can add use scale to home view toggle in order to make sure that home view home view is being displayed the once home view is being displayed and set to true we can give it to one otherwise we can make it to zero so our hello world is not will not being displayed and we can give it font style to large title along with bold to make to make it look more appealing let's see what's happened next as soon as the loading finishes we are going to see our home view with the hello world appearing on it but the hello world looked a bit more stick to our left side or leading side so let's give a padding to leading leading where the value of 100 now let's see how it's going to appear so our loading loading bar is completed now and the whole hello world is appearing now and it looks like more appealing and beautiful thank you for listening hope you like it is there any feedback please let me know in my comment i will be sharing those videos in my next tutorials thank you